Come on, Wolf. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This this the dude from the intro right here. This this is what I've been waiting for right here. Okay, Wolf. I'm done smashing X. Go off. Go off. Yo, welcome back. Hey, look, real quick though, before the B drop, the B gonna drop real quick though. Hold up, look, hello. Telltale, Invertigo, hello. All right, that felt great. Look, I want to apologize for last video. I know I seem so. <laughs> the reason I was acting like that, like I was just annoyed and frustrated, was because I was trying to play. I was trying to upload that video that same day that I played. I was playing, I started playing pretty late, like four o'clock. And it was, it's a two hour playthrough and it just seemed like I was wasting time for some trash conversations. But then I went back, what I did was I went back and I watched these, however many videos I've done so, so far, four, just to like follow and really immerse myself in this story. I even looked up some summaries of these episodes online that could break it down, to me at least, a little bit easier. I think what's gonna help us a lot in this game is reading that fable book. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. I know why, because I was stressing out because I was trying to get the video up for y'all. If I'm ever acting like that, just know it is, there's a reason behind Big it. Me. Is she loud? I just got here. Yeah, me too. Okay. It's number 23, I haven't seen it yet. Okay, 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 so we're gonna take a second and, and, and y'all already know where we are. I'm sure y'all do, y'all are smart people. But let me just look at the books of Fable real quick. Okay, now who are you? Faith, does she have an updated story? Let's just read about her, cause she's the one that started it all. Faith, otherwise known as the donkey skin girl, <laughs> made it through the exodus from the magical homelands with the clothes on her back, her husband, and nothing else. She was once a beautiful princess, happily married to Prince Lawrence, who we, we, we saw die, of a neighboring kingdom. Her life should have had an happy ending, but the mundane city of New York wasn't kind to her or her marriage. With no money, Faith found herself turning tricks to make rent for a cheap apartment on the outskirts of Fable Town. She had a difficult life, but she did what she could to survive in an unfamiliar world. Golly, that, that's, that was more depressing than I, than I remembered. Now, what is this? The 13th floor, that's where the witches are. I don't think we need to talk about that right now. Here go Lily, okay. Lily and her sister Holly grew up in the homelands together, but had a falling out shortly after moving to the mundane world. Aimless and increasingly destitute, Lily turned to prostitution, and now she's the second victim in an ongoing murder investigation. That is insane that Telltale took childhood fables and turned it this dark and gritty. Like, the fact that there's prostitution involved, pimps involved, murders, like what? <laughs> Who's next, the three blind mice? Hello! Georgie runs the pudding and pie, a strip club that also caters to the unmentionable desires. Okay, he has tried just about everything there is to try in pursuit of worldly pleasures, but none of it satisfies satisfies him for long. He does seem to enjoy pushing people's buttons. So Georgie is is this pimp that? Okay, so jo obviously, what am I talking about? Georgie is the pimp. I thought he was a club owner. That's why I said that. Y'all y'all go in the comments quick, ready to be like. Anyways, uh, Cleaver Hongs. He's the bouncer, the janitor, the handyman. <laughs> Good lord, you do everything but uh, but but get girls, clearly. Uh, Cleaver Hands always does exactly as he's told. However, he often misunderstands his instructions and ends up hurting himself or behaving oddly, as in the case of his noted fable, where he threw sheep's eyes at his wife. Unsurprisingly, she left him, <laughs> and now Hans works as a bouncer at Georgie's... Uh, at jo oh, hold up, hold up, my microphone tripping. At Georgie's uh, club. He hopes to dance on stage one day, pause! But for now, he's content sweeping up and making sure the crowd doesn't get out of hand. Nerissa, the Little Mermaid. Nerissa's story never had a happy ending. 
She's known as the Little Mermaid, the young girl who gave up her tail for a pair of legs in the hopes of winning the heart of a handsome prince. When he married a princess instead, Nerissa was left heartbroken. So everybody's fable is like, I get it now. I get it now. Because the thing with fables is like, they always live happily ever after. That's like the saying for every one of these stories. Maybe not the, no, maybe not the three little pigs, but like, y'all know that everybody's story is like happily ever after. And Telltale is like, what if it's not? <laughs> what if it's real? What if they got to deal with real life problems? What if they got to experience loss, pain, death, survival? Mm, and I, I had the nerve to disrespect them last episode. I don't think I disrespected Telltale, but like I was definitely not feeling all that talking that we just did. Now she dances at the pudding and pie, but each step she takes feels like walking on shards of glass. She has very little left, but finds some comfort in the company of her fellow dancers. So did I just see Little Mermaid naked earlier? Hello, troll funeral rites. Approximately tran, uh, huh? I guess y'all wanna see this. No, I don't know what this means. I'm not even about to read that. Vivian, Georgie's girl. Much of Vivian's past is unknown since she prefers not to talk about her life back in the homeless. She wanted to start fresh in Fable Town, but she finds herself working for Georgie at the Pudding and Pie. It's not a terrible life. Georgie took a liking to Vivian, so he doesn't make her take jobs at the open arms. That's nice of him, I guess. Instead, she plays hostess and helps Georgie ensure complete customer satisfaction. Vivian was the girl that I walked up to at the door. Okay, I remember now. And she was like, he's having one of his moods. And I was like, give a fuck about his moods, nigga. Let me in, nigga. Dr. Swinehart. Dr. Swinehart is the resident Fabletown physician. So skilled in the art of instrumental surgery that he can safely operate on himself. What? Uh, he, so he over here like this with it. <laughs> Why would he operate on his throat? Not sure. He currently runs the special research section of the Knights at Malta Hospital. So namely, so named to discourage people from investigating what is actually used for Fable's focused health facility. Oh, okay, that's nice. The Trip Trap Bar. We know about the Trip Trap Bar. That's it? All right. But we do know why we're here. We're trying to find the witch because there's a meeting at 2 a.m. that Crane is supposed to be meeting her at. Blackbeard, don't show up, dude. Bluebeard, whatever color your beard is. Yeah, I know. 2.14, we're late. This 14 minutes it. late. All right. How do you want to do this? Bust up inside, quick. Listen first, you right. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Bust up in there. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in. We don't know what's on the other side. Exactly. Let's just save the last resort for last. Makes sense? Oh my gosh. Fine, okay. What would you have me do instead? I don't know. Knock? I mean, we have no idea what's behind this. <clears throat> Hello? I'm not falling Hi. for it. I'm not falling for it. That's a glamour. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Where's Crane? Is he still here? Huh? I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, I don't really... Uh... Man, stop Do it. Do you live in the building? I'm not no, falling for this. We don't live here. Are you the missus of the house? Or is your mother at home? My mommy's not here. She's probably working. She's probably... Do you have a name? Oh, okay. Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. Oh, cut it out. I'm the big bad wolf. Well, Stop it. I'm the sheriff, and this is my partner. Boss. Authority. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Nice to meet is you, too. There, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there uh, 
something you want? I want the demon come to come out of you. I help you. Maybe come back in the morning. Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? <laughs> oh do my you gosh. Mind if my friend here takes a look around, I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. Rachel, I really hope that you're a nice little girl and not. Uh, oh. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Why are you pressing me? I'm the sheriff. All of a sudden. Okay, boss. I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. I know Crane is in here. And I know this little girl right here is on some shit. As soon as I no walk in the- been over all night, so... He's just going to check. Yeah. It'll only take a moment. You keep walking. Worry about yourself. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Oh my gosh. Not here. There's no one here but me. She sound like Toe, bitch ass. Toe wanted me out of this house so bad. But what did I do? I looked through every nick. Where do you buy your clothes? Don't it's worry about it. Pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Dowdy? Was that the brand? I saw a spider over there yesterday. You get it from Costco, huh? bitch? It was I mean, a pretty one. She not a bitch. She. Your mama hunter? She, she is oh, if no, she a she witch. Never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. You lying? Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. Honky tonk? I remember there was honky tonk on my keyboard as a kid and I hated hearing it. Do you look? I think hey, it was like Mom? number four. Uh-huh. You ever had the, the, those keyboards where you had to push zero zero four and I start? Do you have any pets? <sighs> Not Technically. I, I was about to get off with that honky tonk. Watch out, watch out, Snow. What are you hiding over here? Oh, Lily. I mean There's nothing that looks like Crane is here either. <laughs> Rachel. Nothing? See. I'm not done yet. She want me out the house so bad. Watch her try and stop me. Yo, Crane, get your Nothing. Delivered to Auntie Greenleaf. The, the butcher. butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. Hmm. Hmm. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can oh. you go to bed now, please? No, you cannot. This is a criminal investigation. I have to do my job just as... <gasps> is that a glamour tube? Ooh. Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. Because you just drank it all. Look at her! Oh, see, I need to be sheriff in my own city. No, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? Man, shut she up. She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I have to check this out. I'm sorry. She got the flip, watch. Oh, no, put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise. It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. Look, look, y'all, I'm gonna take the risk. I know. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? Auntie Greenleaf. Come on, man, you just, you're not slick. It hurts when you do it that fast. I knew it from the beginning. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what? Not sprightly enough? You think we have time to waste on this shit? Think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. Oh my gosh, thank All you. Right. Start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a not. Oh that. my gosh. Where's Crane? Speak where's, quickly. Where's I ain't that? a fortune teller, wolf. 
I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. Damn. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. If you're not protecting Crane, who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. My lips Just are sealed. Just being here is bad enough. You the There's third person. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Turn up. You should be a lot more afraid of me than whatever horseshit you think will come back to bite you. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Not a clue. Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could oh, don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. Mm. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. Okay, hold up, hold up. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Bigby. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Hold on, though. Hold on, though. Does the Book of Fables tell me about this tree? Can I read about this tree a little bit? Okay, of course I can. Hold on. What is she get? What is she saying? Horticulturalist, alchemist, and lover of animals, Auntie Greenleaf is one of the few rogue witches still living outside of the 13th floor, unsupervised and unrestricted. Okay, so she, if she worked for us, she live on the 13th floor. Rumored to have lost a daughter in the homeland, she suffers paranoia and depressive mood swings and will only venture outside at irregular hours under the guise of an, uh, an, ether an ethereal what? white deer and oft-whispered specter of Brookhaven natives. Brookhaven natives. So burning this tree means that she can't make glamours for anybody anymore, which basically means she don't have money to survive. That's not the right thing to do, though. Like, burn her only source of income, so what? She could become homeless, live on the street, then she'd be right back at Snow Office talking about, uh, <laughs> hello, I need a job. Or, no, 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 she wouldn't say that. Didn't Snow say that she wanted to help, like, uh, 
remember it in the first episode when Snow was riding through the car with me and she was like, I want to help people, but I'm, I don't want to do that working for Crane. Look, I know, I know Auntie Greenleaf ain't do the right things, but I'm not about to burn her tree for that. Nah, I'm gonna hire her though. I'm gonna put her to work. Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. Bigby! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. So what? A moving truck's gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. I'm trying to figure out why Snow is so mad, though. Besides this, of course. Hold on, let me see that Fable entry. The Fable entry is, is, is vital right now. Please be the tree. No, of course not. Glamour 2. Glamours can be produced in a variety of ways, but one of the most common due to its ease of use is to take a small hollowed out tube or container and place within it several items unique to whoever the caster wants to copy. A wish is required for the reactionary charm. Two downsides of this type of glamour is that totally unique appearances are completely impossible and the nature of the vessel makes it quite unstable. So we'll know a cheap glamour by if the appearance isn't unique. Like, like if it's not identical, like you know how, like you've seen how Snows was when Lily tried to do it. She was missing buttons, looking crusty and stuff. Okay. Snow about to turn up on me right now. I'm already knowing. LeBron. For Cleveland. Okay. Really, I just stopped. I just saved a life, so I, I don't feel too bad about it. But Snow, she'll be mad, but she'll get over it. Unless she pulls some Kenny shit. Y'all remember Kenny? Why did he do that to me? All because I didn't want to smash that dude head in. Didn't talk to Lee for the rest of the game. That's Crane's car. Wow. Wow. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Oh, where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know now. You lying motherfucker. You're hey, a bitch. You can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... Look at the way he's shaking her. Oh my god. Yeah. Bigby. Wait, don't. No, throw that putasso. Oh my gosh. Throw it. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just, just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. Ugh. <laughs> Wait, I can't. You just give me the chance. This will work. I assure you, everything will be solved. Let go. I went to you. Damn you! Come on, please. What are you doing? Tell me who killed her. This motherfucker like whipping and shit. My lips are <laughs> sealed. So that's the name of the spell, I guess, because I've I've heard a lot of girls say that. Faith said it. Nerissa said it. Ring of Dispel. Re reputed to be fashioned by a Byz Byz Byzantine clan and Byz Byz Byzantine, what is that? Byzantine clan in an attempt to ward off a coven of witches. The Ring of Dispel, or magic canceling ring, eventually was given to Lancelot by the lady in the lake. I feel like I'm not in the middle of my camera. Recovered by the business office after the immigration to New Amsterdam, it was assigned to Greenleaf for, for caretaking. 
didn't tell me what it did at all. But I know what it does. Makes him tell the truth. <laughs> Crane, the jig is up. Stop crying. You look so weak How right many now. Years? <laughs> what? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. Ugh. But... I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing <clears throat> to do with that. We'll see I about just, it. I, it just... Oh, God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's... That was... I just... I just love you, Snow. I love... I love you, and... And I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. What? Are they even from the same little fable? You're under arrest. Tell him already. What was that? You want to look Bigby. at him in his... Yeah? You love I him? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not, he wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's I mean, a disgusting coward, not a murderer. I agree. Thank you, my dear. It means so much to- Shut up. Don't talk to me. Okay, okay. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room- I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. That's true. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this- Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. And maybe he is. There's nobody else that's even remotely- He's the prime suspect. There is nobody else. But why? Really? Think about it. Because circumstantial evidence is one thing. And I won't kill a man for that. We Every, have the photos. Everything points to him. Do I have to go down the laundry list? His room. His girl. All his fucking lies. And all of that is perfectly fine, except that there's no real motive. Snow, I... And no evidence that says anything except he was in the same room at some point in time. He embezzled millions from Fable Town, Bigby. That's what I have to care about. And that's enough. I was gonna pay all of that back. <sighs> Fine. Embezzlement. We'll get him on what we can. Thank you. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. And for suspicion of murder. No, Sheriff. This can't be Greenleaf again and again, behaving however you like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby. And you have to respect me as its leader, starting now. Damn, okay, Snow. You have what it takes <laughs> to run that office. You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no reason. Regrets. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. Damn. Well. I had a feeling that it's not Ichabod either. At, this, at the same time, we have a lot of questions to get answered. Hello. Um, okay. Stupid girls in the 
imposter schemes. What are you saying? <gasps> I love y'all, man. Now, who is this pulling up on us like this? We just gonna act like they ain't following us up the street? They about to do a drive-by on us or something? Oh gosh, they about to give me a choice. Okay, we're cornered. Interesting. Oh, because uh what's his name? Charlie? He called, he called somebody, he was on the phone and he said we have a problem. Who is Hi. this? What you got there? Um, get back, Angelina Jolie. Big ass, <laughs> big ass fat bastards. Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the crooked man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds, pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut oh. up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Oh, gosh. Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> and I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This is my job. I like my job. So think about what I'm gonna do to you, your girl, and the rest of your friends if you don't hand over the sock puppet now. You can fuck off if you think you're getting him. I told you he'd never just give him up. They know me. What's up with it? Fuck it. They about to light me up? They just rickied my shit. Bigby? Come on, Wolf. Come on, Wolf. Come on, Wolf. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this this the dude from the intro right here. This this is what I've been waiting for right here. Okay, Wolf, I'm done smashing X. Go off. Go off. He just gonna walk to him. He just go up to him. Some double oh yeah, I like this. Yeah, get the biggest thing, throw it. Throw this next. Keep, keep him on the ground. Keep him on the ground. Oh hello, static shot, bitch. Oh, I missed. Oh yeah, you're done for. Nerve to shoot at me? Look at me. Big Wario moron. 
Oh yeah, finish the job. Finish the job. Oh, she getting turned on by this shit. Man, throw it at her. No, I'm not gonna throw it at her. She gonna, she like that. Yeah, take that. Oh, stop it. Give me that. I need that funky ass pipe. Now beat your ass to this wall with my bare claws. Yes! Don't give up. Okay, hold up. But hold up. Let me think about this. Let me think about this. So what did I just do? She shot me. Oh, y'all see it? It was like glowing. That bullet was like glowing. Look at it. It was a good show, but you know, it just didn't know when to end. What is that? Oh, that's that enchanted axe. She got that from the woodsman? You know, you didn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a piece. Bro, come on now. I couldn't right, be pushing X think? anymore. Faster than you. <laughs> hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really. Look at my X game, <laughs> y'all. Look at my X game. It's not even doing nothing. Oh, forget it. I know I can't. I'm not about to break my thumb doing this. Doing this. Just really take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow, stay out of this. Hold on, before we see who's in that window. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. I killed him, but I don't. Okay, let me let let me let y'all know why I killed him. First of all, I think this might have been the brother of the detective D. I don't think this is the one that I've been interrogating this whole time. But even if it was, who cares? These two niggas came out came out at me like this with it. They was like this. They did that at least twenty times. Come on now taking orders i guess what i just got an order from the most high he said rid the world of evil what you think i did i i, I did that i did exactly that who is that it's your lucky day kid the crooked man says it's okay with him the crooked man been watching this whole time hello ichabod got a stomach ache what I'm off these high shoes right now, y'all. Y'all ever had high shoes from 7-Elevens? Got a stomach ache. What does that mean? Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Yo, she looked weirder and weirder. I thought she was fine when she got out the car, but now she looks like a dim. Nope. Not like your boy. A beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Okay, bitch. You already know I'm about to take Tweedo D card off. <laughs> that shit too clean. He rolled up on us so smooth. Lord knows he needed. Hey, you can give that car to Toad. Hey, Toad, I got a present for you. Yo, TJ, come check out this new whip. I just got your funky ass daddy. I can't believe I just caught a body. That's all I wanted to do this whole this whole time is catch a body. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. 
This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody? I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to... Um... About last night. When people hear what you did to Dumb, they're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? <clears throat> did you interrupt Snow's eulogy? We did not. A lot of us did not. What place did you investigate first? You and 40% of players investigated the Trip Trap Bar first. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Using our brains. That's, how, that's why we did that. Did you offer Flycatcher a job? You and 96% of players offered a job to Flycatcher. He was cool. Why not? You know? The Woodlands obviously did his job, rehabilitated him, and became, let him become an active part of society again. He's ready. Did you burn Greenleaf's tree? You and 79% of players did not burn Greenleaf's tree. Yeah, that, that would have been wrong. Did you kill Tweedledum? You and 44.2% of players killed Tweedledum. That was D's brother. D was the one that we've been investigating. Because remember, he was... Remember... Yeah, well, y'all know. Y'all don't have to say remember. Y'all get it. Ooh, it get me every time. The second one came in faster this time. I like that. Don't sit there and scare me. I don't enjoy being scared like that. I do. Where the horror games at? I'm going to hop back on Evil Within. Because Theo needs some love, too. Here we go. What's the extras about? Book of Fables. So how come chapter two isn't all the way full? That must depend on the other choices that you can make in this in the story. Now who is this girl? Bloody Mary, that's what this is, the urban legend. The true history of the person known as Bloody Mary is almost completely unknown, even to fables most acquainted with its members. Her name, Mary, at least, is not up for contention, nor is her penchant for shocking violence, an inlaid resistance to magic and spells, and a strange ability to use any reflective surface as a portal. That's active, y'all! Effectively shortcutting space and time, thought by monies to be the wailing apparition of a childless ghost, though any evidence of that is as yet unseen. Ooh, Bloody Mary, give me the chills, bitch. Now, y'all aren't bitches. When I say bitch, I just mean it like, like, you know, like as an adjective. Wait, wh what is it? It's a noun. It's still a noun. Yeah. Episode four. I'm, I'm telling Bluebeard off. Bluebeard don't even have hair. He a bald. Ooh, I'm so thirsty, but this water like days old. I'm gonna still take a sip, though. I need it. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I wouldn't do I that to you. I finally see you for who you are! A savage. <laughs> Tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? They 50 sent me. They said many men. Many, 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 many men. Yeah. Yeah. Keep, keep playing with me. It's a good show. But, you know. Just... Take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Now, what do that mean? And who is the crooked man? Crooked man, crooked man. Watch me do my crooked dance. Crooked here, crooked there.
That looked like a damn, uh... <laughs> you know, remember when I was saying that? In heavy rain, that shit had me rolling. Oh, that's me bleeding in here like, oh, what? No, it's not. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. Damn. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Toxicosis? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What the fuck is that? Silver bullets, a wolf weakness. The legends of great magical wolves often make mention of their weakness against weapons made of silver, and those tales bear out to be true. The silver bullet Mary shot Bigby with was not the first, but any of them could be his last. Any silver left in Big Bigby's body weakens his system, slows his healing, and can cause long-term damage. Okay, well, let's get it out, Doc. <laughs> That's why we're paying you. Oh, oh. Oh, Bigby. We can't keep me in this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Um... My arm. <laughs> yes, very ugly, but not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Please, Big B, don't Dude. move it. Dude. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh, you can do what? You can do what? Yo, th this is actually pretty gross to me. I don't do well with shit like For this. Sake. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> see now? That wasn't so difficult, was it? Oh, I didn't oh. even see it in my stomach. Still, oh. oh. That'll do. You're probably better off. This way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> he said, quiet. All them little pieces of bully all throughout my stomach and sternum. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so Man, if you wouldn't mind. Shut up. Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please. I could do this with my optic nerves severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. You couldn't throw a sheet hey, down Doc, on... how much longer? Okay. Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin... You're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? Colin, shut the hell up, will you? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. I can still hear you. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? Why you press my pig, though? Huh? Colin said, I'm gonna shut up, but when he leave, I won't be talking again. <laughs> 
Why are you looking at me like that? I'm the wolf. You you act like I'm. I keep thinking so, this. Okay. How do you um feel? How does it look? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. <laughs> See, strong as an oak, this guy. Yes, sir. She like I'm you glad lying. You're not dead. I said the same thing to you, and you got uh, upset at me. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried, and even he thought you were... I don't know. It was just... awful. Snow, I'd never leave you. Oh... Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <sighs> Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Call should him. I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Crane is still our focus. I just can't forget everything he's done. I don't care if he has problems with the crooked man. Ichapod's gone. It's over for him. He's not coming back. It's not about Crane anymore, Bigby. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. Okay, let me see if, if we get to learn about who the crooked man is. They never tell me what I want to know. Acting deputy. With Ichabod Crane firmly out of the picture and King Cole still absent, the task of leading Fable Town falls squarely on Snow's shoulders. She has performed many of the job's duties for a long time, picking up the slack for Crane, but now that she's fully in charge of the business office, she has to deal with a new level of politicking she had not previously been exposed to. Huh? Okay. She's doing a good job as far as I see it, but she could use my help. That's why I'm here. For him to attack us so blatantly like that, he either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm going to let Bloody Mary just murder it was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. You weren't there, Colin, so just drop it. Right? Okay, you... okay. Fr fry your all ass. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? This is about those girls, and it'll always be about those girls. Nothing. We'll change that. We'll see. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. Hey, what I does like that, that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. 
We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we can all move on. I'm sure from your vantage point it's extraordinarily easy to judge me. Big B. But you sit behind a desk all day. Only tonight did you see what it's like to be pushed into a corner all the time just for doing your job. You think I don't know what it's like to have my life in danger? To not be pushed to do things? I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself. To justify what, what you've it's done. Like. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Yeah, stay quiet. Stay quiet. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that, <laughs> now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? That would mean Toad, too. I'm perfectly calm. And TJ. I'm hey. not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Right now? Are you serious? No, let's get the phone. We tripping. Calm down. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? He fixed the mirror. He okay, fixed... I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? He. Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She probably just wants to talk about last night. The whole thing at the pudding and pie. Maybe. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Yeah, Consider I'll the say. discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Boy, hell I mean, no. She seemed real serious about it. Man. But I can still hang out here. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Swag. Don't worry about it. And, and he believes Bigby. He believes in Bigby. You chose friendship over the world over the rules. Look at my boy Colin. Like, who is he bothering? He had my back just now. Snow tripping like. I wasn't getting shot at by two different shotguns last night. Huh? It wasn't just that one bullet that made my my body. Well, maybe it was. I don't know. That silver bullet is different. Hello. Episode four in sheep's clothing. Hi, Sheriff. What's up, baby? Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. You don't have no, like, regular clothes? You gotta go everywhere in nightgowns? I... Um... Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... You know, around. Let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Bruh.
bro, no, stop smoking them things. I wish I could stop. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. She be smoking charrettes. Y'all both gonna die quicker than you need to. Disgusting ass habits. Thanks. So what was that back there with Crane? He wanted you to tell me something. You know, it's not too late to talk. That boogie. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. True. You sent me to the open arms. True. Maybe that'll work again. What is this spell that they keep talking you about? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... Okay. Might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of words. And you have something you want to say about that, right? Here we go. I'm in my camera. These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now, they're gone. And I don't know what to do. Is this making any sense? I don't want to ask... I'm not sure how I can... Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Ooh. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? These lips are sealed, watch. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. Oh, I knew I knew I, I need picked... you to know. I want to help, but but no 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 no. Come on, come it's on. Okay. Take your time. Come on. We're making progress. Come on, Ariel. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. You're not. I You're... thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Take it off. Can you take it off of her? We have nothing to no, lose. I just... No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. Okay, I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Just apologize, don't touch her no more. Sorry, I wish I could do something. I came here. That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. 
Please. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Are you jealous? Hold up. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I ate all my high chews, damn it. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Hey, wait, you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. Nerissa, what you could... What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. You could get it, Nerissa. I'm not even gonna lie did to you. Did you get anything from her? Don't worry. I handled it. She couldn't talk because of the magic, but we managed to understand each other. I did my job. My way. What did you expect? Do you really want to know? Because you have given me reason to doubt you. Surely even you can see that. And the past few days have been... <sighs> trying. You have to trust me, Snow. And I'm pretty sure she left convinced we're on the right track. Okay then. Good work. There we go. There we go. That's how we so, handle- So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? Absolutely. What did they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. Hmm. Damn, she scared you know, me. Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. Mm -hmm. I told her there was nothing I could do and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. What do that mean? So she she keeps secrets, but she would have got mad at me had I told her like Narissa, don't worry about what she talked about. But I played it cool. That's what you got to do, especially Bigby. He got two girlfriends right now, Narissa and Snow. Play your cards right. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into. With either. good reason. Look what happened. Well, that's, yep. so that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to? Open up. Y'all wanted to talk, right? Oh. What do you want? You call. Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called me. You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Oh my Listen, gosh. I've had a shitty night. Did you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's how, there? How them bloody ass wounds feel on Please. your face, bitch? Who's at the door? Look, I'm coming in. So, uh. Let's not get into busting down doors today, all right? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. <laughs> yeah, bruh. Big B Wolf is, is so tight to me, bro. Pause, but like... Mm. I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this beast. Look at this painting. We can trust him. Mm. Not after the way Talk about living in the past. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. 
It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? What are you doing, Orange Bigby? Is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. Look, I, I don't have time to be here all night, all right? I got sleep to get to. Oh, thanks for letting us finish our conversation. Come on, man. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. Ooh. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Oh. Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Right, Bigby, I'm right Why there with you. Why like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Look, I'm not here to referee. Oh, me? You called me, okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. Straight up. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the Crooked Man off the street. You don't want to be next. That's but real. if you'd rather deal with this on your own... No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Right. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Who is this? Beauty do sound just like Clementine. Hi you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we hey, can't come to the phone right you. now, so leave I should... a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> His voice is so... Humanly possible. So cringy. Beep. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Ooh, uh, Crooked Man don't play. He got goons. All I care about is how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? You need to tell me. I just heard everything on that phone. Look at y'all scared now. The All Lucky that Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Lucky Pawn. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly, it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe 
Maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, <clears throat> gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. So I, I gotta choose. To provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. Then so we were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. <sighs> Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I think Beauty's lead has more to offer than the butcher shop. If Beauty get in trouble, well... You know that butcher shop? The cut above. The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. Ugh. You know that. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. You know that butcher shop? The cut above. The thing is, I don't think it's meat. Sorry, I'm beauty. I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. Too much going on there to ignore. Absolutely. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. You're the beast. You Wait, can protect your wife. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What, what do you mean? Well... Maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Man, everybody is a suspect. I don't know who to talk to, who to look at. All these niggas is just like untrustworthy.